On Sunday the 26th of May 2019, we came to a very wet and windy Morecambe for the Ribble Vehicle Preservation Trust running day. The Trust aimed to provide their biggest event yet in order to celebrate 100 years since Ribble was formed. As usual, we came with our friends in the Barrow Transport Group. Like for previous Stagecoach Open Day, 169 and 206 represented our group, in addition to two Leyland Tigers and a Leyland Leopard on the behalf of Chris Staten. Two more vehicles to be given the Ribble livery treatment included this Arriva Wright Commander bodied VDL SB200 and this Transdev Volvo B7TL Wright Eclipse. The display at Winter Gardens was being treated as a secondary display for this year. The main event was located at the home of the Shrimps, otherwise known as The Globe, where Morecambe Football Club resides. Whilst we look at the vehicles on static display, it's worth reflecting on the history of Ribble. The company was formed in 1919 and grew to be the largest operator in the region, with its territory stretching from Carlisle in Cumbria to southern Lancashire. In 1961, Scout Motor Services was purchased and absorbed by Ribble in 1968. The WC Standerwick coaching business was also bought by Ribble as early as 1932, but it was kept as a separate subsidiary. By 1972, Ribble was nationalised by the Department for Transport and became part of the National Bus Company. In 1986, the government deregulated and privatised the buses. As a result, Ribble's territory was reduced with the company's North Cumbrian operations passing to Cumberland Motor Services and its Merseyside operations going to a newly formed North Western. As part of privatisation, NBC Ribble was sold on the 2nd of March 1988 in a management buyout. In May 1989, Ribble was purchased by Stagecoach, who at the same time took over bus operations in Barrow after the Borough Council, which superseded Barrow Corporation after deregulation, could no longer afford to run the buses. In April 2001, Stagecoach sold its Ribble operations in Blackburn, Hindburn, Cliverow and Bolton to the Blazefield Group, later to become Transdev. As a subsidiary of Stagecoach, the company remained registered as Ribble Motor Services, whilst operating under the trade name Ribble Buses, later to become Stagecoach Ribble. The Ribble brand was eventually consigned to history following the formation of Stagecoach Lancashire.
Inside the first floor terrace were some trade stands and a number of special presentations. The usual service to Hesham and Cartworth was also provided, with many services being duplicated owing to the popularity of the event, which started a few years ago as a replacement to the old brief encounter events at Cartforth. Running on borrowed time, this two-car Class 144 DMU arrives from Leeds with a service to Lancaster.
We've now come to the end of our day in Morecambe. Special thanks to our friends in the Barrow Transport Group for taking us to the event, and also to the RVPT for a fantastic event, even if whoever didn't quite behave itself. If you liked watching this video and would like to stay up to date, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. To ensure that a video reaches your subscription feed, please turn on notifications by clicking on YouTube's notification bell. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter for further updates. Thank you for watching and take care.